Okay, turn that down. Whoops. Hello, everyone. Uh, wow, am I late? I might be a little late. Welcome to the mystery hour. Just like yesterday. That's three days in a row, but not tomorrow. I have plans. Let's see. This is what I get for looking up Sierra Leone. <clears throat> okay, is this going to do the same thing where it jacks up? No, it doesn't. Whoops. Okay, kind of is the answer. Kind of. Hey, Vern. Okay, there we go. One day I will get this right. But today is not that day. I've been thinking about it and thinking about mislabeling people, like getting their names wrong. Because that was something that happened yesterday, and I was wondering whether or not it was something to do. Like, if I don't know the name of some guy, but I suspect his name is a certain way, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and name him. Because better wrong than a blank space. And we can always assume that it's wrong until it's been designated. What the heck is wrong with this thing? Anyway. Okay. So, that said, this guy... I'm gonna name him after that guy from Sierra Leone. Hamada Diom. Which might be wrong, but at least it's something. It's not nothing. So, the other thing I decided, while I was thinking last night, is to avoid complications. We should not wander into this room, this body here, and this body here, because this is part of a separate chapter. So I figure to avoid complications, we should probably identify people that we already have in front of us. Which brings me also to... What are these? The Doom was... Near the Canary Islands. Or past the Canary Islands. Where were they going? Were they going from Cape Town? Up here? Which actually brings me to my other point. Um, we can't do the, the escape, which, huh. Well, the doom was near the canary. The escape is further south. Oh, I just realized. Where's the end? Where did it end? It doesn't have that on the map. Whoops. Or does it? Okay, the end was like, okay, the, the ship was sailing north when all this happened then. Then it just sort of drifted into England somehow by magic. This may end up being important. That's why I'm covering it. Uh, finally, I have this. I was hoping to have anything about, um, I was hoping to have anything that would help identify the tattoo guy, but I guess not. And I was hoping that the information would be inclusive. Like I wouldn't have to look up things on the internet to find out who a person was. I guess not. 
Okay. So is this the first guy? No. This guy's head was blown off. This guy was crushed before then. Was there a guy before this guy? I can't remember. Okay. Okay, that's right. It was the guy topside. He was the first to die to the beast. No, that was the artist. The artist was the first to die to the beast. Uh, in fact, we've got sort of a map here. It started here. Or, yeah, you don't have to show me where everything is on the map. Thank you. And then it kind of led down and up again. So this was the first guy. No, you might be right. Darn it. This is part six of eight. So, we have questions. First off, who is this man? Why is he important? He's only in one memory. He was located here. Oh, that's what you said? Sorry. This was the first to die. Huh. So let's see what we can find out about this guy first. Club to death. Let me on. <laughs> Over my dead body, you bloody dame. Ah. Okay, Bloody Dane. So he is a Dutchman. So, is this guy a seaman? It's hard to tell. But we know he's Dutch. He also had a knife in his hand. Why did he have a knife in his hand? What was he planning to do with the knife? Okay, so for certain though, Denmark, Dane is Denmark. Okay, my bad. So, all right, let me see here. I need the crew. How many people are from Denmark? Also, this guy struck me, struck me, strikes me as a, another seaman. So we're all the way at the bottom. We have one seaman from Denmark, Lars Lende. Dane equals Denmark. Thank you. Actually, that, um, that's super helpful. So, was clubbed by this guy, whoever that guy is, which we got to figure out him too. Just making sure there's any other seaman from Denmark. I don't see any. I think he's a seaman. You know, most of the seamen are up here. Okay, I am going to guess that, yeah. By his attire, he is a seaman. Clubbed by unknown. Which brings us to this guy. Who is clear. We should know who this guy is. He's in two memories. This one and this one. That's right, he drowned at sea.
Let me on. Over my dead body, you dumb... How's that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get on the boat. Sorry to forget you killed my brother. What? That was an accident? The ropes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Which somebody else said. Lies. I shouldn't have waited so long. Huh. I am saying seaman. Wink. I'm just talking about, you know, semen, which tends to cart loads. I can't, I can't do innuendo very well. I'm going to have to stop there. I think one of the attackers is saying lies. He's a gambler. Who's his brother? Maybe this is his brother, but we don't have any clue who he is. So, we should... Also, he's Irish, Scottish? I can actually tell, but I need to hear it again. Let me see. We're going to go through this again so that we can hear it. All right, let's listen. Let me on. <laughs> Over my dead body, you bloody oh, day. That's so cockney. How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Before I forget, you killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The ropes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Okay. This guy's really English, and that's a problem. Because there were a lot of Englishmen. What? This is a deduction rating. Okay. The higher the rating means it will be more difficult to adduce this person's identity. What? Focus on easy to deduce identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. Oh, that's what those three are. Oh, okay. Huh. So this guy was super easy. We don't know him. We don't know these two. Who is this guy? So yeah, so that's... He's really hard. What about Tattoo Guy? How many does he have? This is two. We could probably get this guy. This is two. We might be able to get this guy. This guy's two as well. I still think he's this guy. And this is Abigail. We've got her already. And then we've got this unknown guy. This unknown guy who fell overboard to his death. He's also got three. Oh, that's... All right, got it. This guy's got two. This guy's got two. Who the hell is this guy? Why are you important? Disappeared in the doom. Where? Depicted in Justice at Sea sketch? Where on the deck did he die? What? Who is this guy? What? Which memory did he die in? Or did he die? He didn't die. He's just... Some guy. I think the... I think the guy that is looking at the attacker clubbed by his Sierra Leone. Uh, that is... This guy. And you might be right. But his face isn't clear. He fell to his death as well. I don't know. The guy to his right? Oh. 
Man, okay, I know what's happening. We're lagging. We're lagging. Never say directions. If you need to direct me to a guy, say, like, the guy who looks like a priest on the boat. Or the guy clubbing the hell out of the guy with the lamp. I'm sorry, Vern, I hate to do that to you, but there there is a lag, and I'm not sure how long the lag is. So, this guy here is only on two things. Let's try somebody else, then. Such as this guy, who is crushed by a loose cannon. Why should we know his name? Let's see if we can find out more clues about that guy, because he's next. And we'll slowly work our way up to the really cool guy. Three, three triangle rating, huh? I, I don't know if I want to just start blazing through everything. Is this the guy, or is the... No, that guy's head was blown off. No, he was... Was he? Yeah, this guy was crushed by a loose cannon. Alright, cool. All right, question. He just said, Sir Loose Cannon. Was that him? Stop that. What's happened here? Sir Loose Cannon. That, that, was, that was a Scottish accent. So, who is this guy? He's got sort of a proper attire. I don't think this is a seaman. I'm not sure what's above that, but he's he's a gunner, right? Uh, I'm sorry, let me skip to the glossary real quick. Military officer in charge of weapons and military procedures on the ship. This guy has got to be one of the gunners. Okay, so we flip to the front, check out the crew... And start looking for gunners. There's a gunner and a gunner's mate. Poland and Austria. No, neither of those accents sound right. Are there no other gunners or anything like that? This is Martin Perot, right? Yeah. What was Martin Perot's job? Who is he? He's third mate. Sir Luce Cannon. Huh. Two memories. What's the other memory he was in? I don't see the second memory. Oh, whoa, really? What, what, what? He was there when the artist died. I'm an idiot. I can't go to the artist's memory <laughs> without leaving this one first. I'm smart like Hulk. Okay. Not a pleasant way to die here. We're going to be listening to 
pooping. Yeah, well, this is... Let's take this seriously and... Don't listen to the farts. That's... This is Martin Perot right here. So who are you? Hey, you're our crushed man. What are you doing? You're bringing meals with the third mate. You're helping the third mate. You're the third mate steward, right? Third mate is Martin Perot. You're the third mate Stuart from England. You're Roderick Anderson. Found you. That was interesting, but I think I got this right. I think I got this right. For some reason, Anderson came to check this cannon, or no, this cannon over here, which was loose for some reason. Did it pop loose? Oh, hey! How are you two doing? Who are you two? Can't get a face in these feet. Number 43. Number 44. Can't quite make out the tag. Wrong side? What, you mean like this side? Oh, no, you're talking about the cannon. Yeah, you might be right. So we walked down, we saw the carnage. Yeah, you're right, this is it. This is where it happened. Number 45. Who is number 45? Zoom in on tag. Let me see. This is as far in as I can zoom. And it's not very... It's not very noticeable. Okay, that says it's number 45. Who's number 45? Just out of curiosity. Um, top man. Leonid v Volvic. Number 44 is another top man. Lewis Walker. And number 53 is... Ma Maba from New Guinea. Do they do they have corresponding? I wonder if they have corresponding numbers to their identity. In which case, this right here is Maba. I wonder if that's true. Can we find another guy in a hammock? See, there's forty-eight. There's forty-nine. 48 is a seaman. 49 is a seaman. Lars Linda from Dibmark. Somebody in 49? I don't think so. Here we have two people. Let's We're, we're tr testing this out, is what we're doing. That guy's blurry. Maybe not. We have a Chinaman here in front of hammock number 41. Is number 41 a Chinaman? Yes, this is Wei Li from China. Holy crap! Seriously? It's really that easy? That seems... Not right. Could be Lars as he died minutes earlier. That's true. Because, like, where is Lars? Is Lars here? Hang on a second, hang on a second. This checks out. In front of hammock number 41 is this Chinese man. And not to pull, like, racism again, but that's just something we're going to have to deal with. This guy is Chinese. So he is number 43. We don't know how he died, but we know who he is. Wait. I, I messed up. Oh, but that's his hammock. Sorry, number 41, not 43. My bad. Yeah, 
Wei Li, top man, Chinese. While I am doing that, let me take a look at his outfit and see if I can't sort of figure out what all he's wearing to see if... Do other top men look like this? What is a top man again? Loose cargo. I'll just wait. That's cool. Have a zip to the end button, but I guess not. Okay. Top men. Higher rated seamen specializing in work above deck in the sails and rigging. Okay. Midshipmen. Officers in training assisting various officers, tradesmen in order to learn the ship's operation. Usually privileged status. Hey, Doom Lad. Top men work the rigging and sails. No, you got it right. Uh, servant to an officer of higher ranked. Okay. Helmsman. Rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel. Okay, this is sort of how ranking goes. Seaman, topman, midshipman, steward, helmsman, carpenter, surgeon, purser, gunner. These are all specialty. And what's a bosun? Or boswain. Foreman in charge of general crew operations. Okay, and then mate and captain. Okay, so this guy's a good rigger or something. Who else are we missing from our little, um... We got this guy. Who, we'll have to check him. He's hard. He's hard mode. So we got this guy. Who is this? He's next on our list. And it looks like he's got the outfit of a top man. Because he's got a similar shirt to um, to Wei Li here. He's way back here. Interesting. He's a helmsman. Dude, he's a helmsman. He's got his hand on the uh, the ship's steering wheel. Right? That's what a helmsman is, right? Do I have that? Is that... Oh, stop that. Rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel. And general movement to movement navigations. I'm not wrong. That's the helmsman. Boswain, surgeon, carpenter, butcher, gunner, guns. Finley Dalton. This is him. Just, just to be sure, England. Yeah. What, uh, what memory is he in? Oh. Huh. Let's double check. Let's go to that memory and see. Because we... I don't think we know how he dies yet. Top men might... Maybe in lighter clothing choice. With the need to climb. That makes sense. Speaking of climbing. Let's go see Abigail again. I want to see this mustached guy at the helm. And also that also that sort of tells me for certain that is the... What? Uh, that is the uh, wheel. Hey, Abigail. What up? Okay. You don't know who you are. That's a third mate. This is the memory he's in. Nope. I figured he'd be close to the helm.
Don't know who he is, but he's got a stone face. Hey, where is the helmsman? Oh, hey. There's like a ton of people in this. Where are all the people? He's right here. He is near the helm. Well, where the hell is he? Oh, 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 um, yeah, that's right. Sort of octopus. Yep, that's him. Can we assume that this guy is dead? So, well, he is indeed next to the helm. This is definitely the helmsman. <laughs> uh, probably dead. Done in by a beastie. Uh, well... Met an unknown fate. I would like a little more assurance. Disappearance continued. <sighs> Decapitated, drowned. None of this is correct. We don't have an exact thing of how he died. We can just sort of infer that he was killed by the thing. Drown or crushed. Because we don't see him dying. We just see that him getting caught by the leg. And holding on for dear life. He could have survived this. I don't know. That ta that tastes gross. To say that he's dead like that. That, that, that There's something wrong with that. Um, death by fall or crush, you say? Let's say he was crushed by the uh, beast. Hello? What? Yes, I got them? Hell yeah! That one was really easy. You know what that means. That means that the tattoo guy is wrong. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this guy must be wrong because he didn't set it off either. <laughs> Okay. Let's just mark him as unknown. <laughs> Fuck. Still, that's progress. That's super progress. Okay, cool. Um, don't know what happened to this guy yet. In fact, there's nothing that, there's no place where he dies, right? He's in three memories, all of them in the doom. Show me on the deck where you died. You're in the doom part seven. What were you doing in the doom part seven? You were in the doom part two, and you were in the doom part eight. What? Where's the Chinese guy? Where's uh, Wei Li? What's his name? Yeah, Wei Li. Where's Wei Li? Not this guy. Who are you? I can't. Nope, not you. Has he been lifted up into the air? He's a top man, so he might be on the rigging. Abigail, Martin, Stranger, Strange Woman, Strange Girl. Oh, we can ID her. 
Why can we ID you? Oh, you're a Mark III, so. Can we ID you? Yes! You're also a Mark III. Um. Not enough information. Where the hell is Whaley? I feel like this is where he died. If he died. Right here is where it keeps pointing me. Where is right here? Is that where I am? Let me walk over here. The guy in the rigging? Yeah, that's just where I am. That's not... You went to the book as you were facing him. Okay, you say he's in the rigging. Makes sense. Oh. Oh my god, Vern. Good eye. Okay, he was done in by a beastie too. If only it worked in real time. It's alright, man. You still did good. You still did good. So we are going to say that he was also crushed by the beast. For now. Because, you know, it's not real sure what you could say the beast like eaten is eaten an option Claude expired we could just put it as expired he expired I don't even know what that means it wasn't knife poison shot speared spiked spiked strangled struck suicide torn apart we haven't really seen... I think torn apart might be a bit much. I wonder what will happen if I just say expired. Oh, expired from old age. No, no. Before that, we're pretty sure he was cr cr crushed by a beast. Also, I'm pretty sure th this guy right here is what set off our thing, right? Yeah, and he was definitely crushed by a beast. So we'll say this guy's crushed by the beast. Yeah, you, you got it, uh, uh, Doom Lab. So... This guy, we're also going to say, was crushed by the beast. Okay, so what does that leave us? We got this guy, this guy, which we're, we're pretty, pretty sure. Pretty sure who that is. Don't know this guy yet. We'll work on him soon enough. Uh, if you want, guys, just to push forward so we do something other than this tonight... Uh, we'll skip all the guys with three triangles. Just say yes or no if you like that idea. And we'll come back to the guys with three triangles later. Maybe we'll get better clues. And then there's the Tattoo Man. Oh, the Tattoo Man. Yes, you say yes, Vern? Well, the Tattoo Man is a two triangle. Let's figure him out. I'm just gonna shut up. It doesn't help. He had a sword. That doesn't mean anything. He's got no shoes, no shirt. He is topside, but it doesn't strike me as a top man. Maybe he was, and that's what's throwing me off. Tattoo like Maureen. Let's take a look at the Topman. What are we dealing with here as far as the, the Topman crew goes? Because I was thinking he might be like that. Maybe that's throwing me off because I'm thinking, oh, he's a he's a seaman. Nope. So what kind of guys do we have Topman? Um, Russian, England, China, 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 Scottish, Persia, Persia. Does that look like Persian tattoos? Is that... I mean,
Does he look like a Persian? Maba? I don't know, man. Persian, Scottish, China, 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 England, New Guinea. New Guinea. New Guinea. Does Maba sound like a New Guinea? More importantly, and this is where you think Maba definitely. This guy is from New Guinea. Number 43, huh? Hey, wait, yeah. Let's call him Maba for now. And then what I want to do... We saw his hammock down uh, below the decks. I want to take a closer look at that real quick. Um, and then we'll move on. Because that's only two people. And this is done in threes. But we'll say... Eh. There is some Maori in New Guinea. Okay. Okay, I just want to take another look at the hammocks, and we'll be down bottom side anyway, and we'll start the next set of deaths. And see where that takes us. We got like 12 minutes. Um, that's right, it was the artist that set this off. Oh, this poor artist doomed to be crushed and fart all through eternity. Forty-three. There's forty-eight. There's forty-nine. There's thirty-six. <laughs> There's forty-three. This is. <laughs> what happened to the ship's artist? Uh, giant tentacle came out of the sea, sir. Crushed the shit out of him. Is he okay? It crushed the shit out of him. <laughs> so this is Maba. And we have no other clues here. So we can assume that this is the guy from New Guinea. Beast attack, he hops up, runs up deck. Makes good enough sense to me. For now, we might revisit it later. Okay, well last time, okay, we are now in what is sort of a, um, a mystery, because I think we've done pretty much everything we can with the Doom. We're pretty sure this is Lars, who was attacked. He's, he's one. There's nobody else. There's nobody else from Denmark on this entire ship. We can be pretty confident that this is Lars. That ES was easy to, to do. Who's this guy? He exploded. I don't have a good look at him. Who's he standing with? Is this actually the gunner? Um, what do we got? We got 15 minutes. Let's do one last thing before we go on to the next mystery. All right. He's in two memories. Um, first memory is... Gun on the deck, number five. Location of the corpse here. 
I can't let it go, man. It's just, it's the way, I hate, I hate loose ends, especially when it comes to mysteries. But we are going to save the three triangles for uh, other terms. Okay. Where are you? You were bottom side, then you were top side. What? I don't think we can climb upstairs like this, can we? Is that him? No. That's him. He's carrying powder. He's also standing with this guy in the picture. These people are right next to each other. He's fully dressed. This is not a seaman. He's higher rank. He's not a top man. Look at this powder he's carrying. Right? Am I right? That's powder. For the cannons. Oh, 36. Should have taken your hammock down, man. 45. I'm just curious about 43. So let's take a look at the cruise list real quick for this guy. Okay. Gunner, 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 gunner. Nope. Midshipman, passenger. He's either the gunner or the gunner's mate. Christian Wolf or Ullis Wider? I think that's Wider. Wider? Why? Ah, oh, freaking Polish names. Um, I really want to. I really want to say he's the gunner or the steward of the gunner because he's carrying all of this powder and black powder. This is not a small thing. Black powder is dangerous. You want people who are qualified to carry it, even though it's kind of spilling everywhere and all over the ship. Am I wrong, though? For now... Oh, it's a cannonball. For now, I'm going to call him... If not the gunner, then the gunner steward. Don't know if that's right. But better than empty. Okay. Let's go on to the next mystery. Sorry for the wait. We got 10 minutes to take a look at... Well, I mean... This mystery right here. Just a quick reminder... Escape. Oh no! You're cut! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother I, I, I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! Surgeon's kit. This guy's the surgeon. This guy right here. Is the surgeon a Scotsman? No, this is the first mate. 
Is he a Scotsman? <laughs> yeah, okay. We figured him out earlier then. Uh, sorry. One last thing that I need to see here. Killed by an unknown attacker. We can't figure out who he is yet. Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. We have a name. That's pretty rare. How many Brennans do we have on the ship? None. What? Robert William Edwards. Any bees in here? Edward. No, sorry. Emily. Bun. Bunlanlin. Woof. Henry Brennan. Ooh. Henry Brennan. Near the bottom. Thank you. Henry Brennan, number 56, Seaman. Calls to a guy. Says, Brennan, bring me the... I can't open that door. Not this guy. He's listening. This is Brennan, because he's listening to uh, the mate over there. Brennan's got... Oh, he was knifed. <laughs> oh, he was one of the guys who lasted to the very end. He's got a rifle. Was knifed. Okay, so we're pretty sure that this is Henry Brennan. What? Okay, cool. <laughs> you know, I'm just happy that the tattoo guy has been identified. <laughs> okay, now we have these guys. Okay. Where's the exit? <laughs> Where is the exit? Help me, I'm lost. Somehow I got lost in time. <laughs> okay, we got what's like, uh, seven-ish minutes. I go by my clock, but not the, hmm? Oh, yeah, I need that. Pardon me. Okay, let's see what happened to you, brother. What's all this for? What happened to your face? Identifying you is going to be tough. Can't identify who you are, but we know how you died. You were clubbed by... Brennan! What? Oh, no, that makes sense. This guy, while he was dying, ran over this way, knocked over... Oh, no, he was that knifed. Ooh, wait, who are you? Um, there's, there's a lot to take in here. Oh, there's a lot to take in here. Um, this guy shoots him, knifes him, gets clubbed. Wow, I, he has a gun. Yeah, I just saw that he had a flintlock. <laughs> These... <laughs> mm. <laughs> Three others were present. What's all this, you damn fool? 
That was Brennan talking. Who is this? How do they die? I don't know who this is, but he was clubbed by Henry Brennan. He's in four different memories. He's in the escape. Okay. <laughs> he made it all the way to the doom. Oh, wait, no. The escape happened after the doom. He was there during the explosion. And he was there during... Hmm... But we don't have the clues we need. I assume, Mr. Watch, that you're going to be pointing at this poor schmuck. No! I was wrong. Was I wrong? I wasn't wrong. Alright, dude. What happened? Gee, I wonder where the watch is going to take me next. Do, do you really have to be dramatic? <laughs> you could have just jumped from the... Would you count that as bludgeoning or decapitation? Because I'm pretty sure the top half of his head is right there. Brutal. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that his blood splattered. Oh, man. That was his hat, but it could have easily have been the top of his head. How do we identify this guy? So, this guy stabbed because he was calling out mutiny. Got it. Who are you? It's you again. Okay, you were the guy that was clubbed by Brennan. So, Brennan's on the... Whoa, where is this blood coming from? What? Okay, I have questions for later. Is there anybody else around? What about upstairs? Oh, hey! Hello, Brennan! And there's... Uh, I forget what his name is. Oh, yeah. We've identified him already. Wait. So, Brennan, who was called in to stop the whole mutiny thing, is one of the mutineers? <laughs> cool. Well, we kind of know how he died. He was shot. And that's the best way to put that. Via gun. By... I don't know. What? Do we have time for another one? I can't do anything else. Why are they shoving this guy's body over the edge? Last one tonight. Okay. I want to keep this in within an hour. So, that guy who had his head blown off. 
That is the last one tonight. This will have to wait until Friday. But, boy, we got another... Looks like we got another mystery on our hands, gang. Almighty. Oh, good. Good, good, good. We're making progress, yo. All right. Calling it a night. <laughs> Ruh-oh. <laughs> All right. Vern Doomlad, thank you for showing up. Thank you to anybody else who might have shown up in the background. You guys, even the bots are great. And fill me with renewed determination. Um, tomorrow, I'm not doing... Thursday is just out for Mystery Hour. But I will be back Friday at 8 o'clock Central Time. Uh, to anybody who sees this video, now you know. Say goodbye to YouTubes and good night to everyone else. <laughs>